fine, normal, cute. They're at Harajuku. Okay, whatever. Which, I love this. This is why I wanted to show you guys. Remember how people react? Well, this is how people react on uh, on uh, Instagram in Tokyo. These are the two people who were behind Alicia. <laughs> I love that shit. I love seeing other people's reactions behind the person taking the photo. Cause they're like, that's clearly an Instagrammer. That's clearly an Instagrammer that came to Tokyo so they can just get aesthetic pictures. That's probably what they're thinking. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. Bitches. Well, hello there. Yes, it's Friday. <clears throat> I know I vlogged earlier this morning. I didn't know, cause sometimes I've been giving myself like evenings off from vlogging. So I can spend time with Patrick and my mom and hang out as a fam. But I just decided I thought I'd vlog tonight. I thought it would be fun. It's the beginning of Memorial Weekend probably is why I'm like, I want to hang out and party with my people on here. So yeah, I'm wearing my shirt that I cut. I had to cut it a little more because it was frayed, but I kind of like how it's like, you know, Let's see if I can get you to see this. You know, so it's kind of, yeah, and then I got shorts. <sighs> All my other socks are dirty, so I got the pink ones on, but yeah, I kind of like it. So yeah, I want to learn to sew, and then I can hem the tops up, or I'm going to, I want to cut some of the shirts and make them into tank tops. I really like this material. The material, um, the shirts that um, my, my stuff is printed on are Bella Canvas shirts, and they're such great shirts. I love them. They're soft. They stay soft. Just, they're good shirts. Yeah, I, I, my print-on-demand business is with Printful, so they're pretty good. They're, they, I tested out some other people, and their printing was the best because they go over on the, specifically the black shirts, they go over this in white first and then they do the color and it gives it almost like it's it's like vinyl or it's been like silk printed or something like that it so yeah did my research it took a year of research to figure out but yeah i think there's enough ice for that let's see we can have a protein shake for this yes i still do this before i do a protein shake and a coffee and it keeps me full, so. Yeah, it's got my video up. I was watching it back. It was good, so. Yeah, what have I been doing today? Uh, just hanging out. My allergies, if you can tell, have been bad. So, I'm hanging in there, though. Um, yeah. Uh, laundry. I did some laundry earlier. I edited my vlog. I like editing the vlogs it's kind of fun you know like it gives me something to do and I like that I've gotten better at it because now I think I'm gonna be able to do that and reactions and so that's like two channels so I'm like gonna be like Peter Mon and have all these channels which I like that like Peter Mon he's just like I'm just just start another YouTube channel you know oh wanna have some fun just start another YouTube channel Mm -hmm. It's easier to do that when, um, you don't do all this, like, fucking editing and shit. You know, you don't try to edit yourself like other YouTubers do, so. Huh. It's good. Ugh. I know, I'm not sitting at the table. I'm sitting here in the living room. <sighs> and stretching. <sighs> it's like my left SI has been sore like I banged myself or something but I didn't I don't know like like I threw myself up against the wall and I hit my hip or something so I might pull out my foam roller later I don't like to use, I use the foam roller and I like it but I usually end up giving myself bruises with it because I'm like this it hurts still and I'm like just rubbing over the same sock part of my back because I have nerve damage and sometimes I give myself bruises 
because I'm like trying to dig into where the pain spot is and get it to release, but it's not gonna release because it's, it's fucking nerve damage. This sucks, so. Kinda wanna go somewhere tonight or do something tonight. Not like too big or anything, like, like go to the park or something. I don't think, it's windy here where I live, but where I live, I live by where there's this like, the pass, you know when the pass, where the pass comes into the Coachella Valley when you're coming in to um, Palm Springs. The reason why we have all those windmills there is because there's like a wind, like, <laughs> I forget what they call it, you know how they have like gulf streams and shit like that? It's like that, there's like a wind current that, it, it goes, it follows the um, I-10 coming in. So we're kind of by that wind corridor. And so we get extra wind where we live. Uh, but if you go into like La Quinta or remember when we used to go up to the cove and we'd sit up at the top of those rock formations, it's a lot less windy, but yeah. So that's what I'm doing. It's warm in here. My portable fan. Which I actually got to plug in because it's going to die soon. <laughs> so yeah, this is going on. Let's see what's on the YouTubes. Ah, come here, iPad. So let's see what's on the YouTubes. Oh, Frenchie's live. Yeah, still no foodie. She's been sick with MERS. Uh, yeah. And then also, too, I guess there's this thing going on in Kuwait right now where... um. I guess they, at the beginning of the year, were trying to attract a lot more professionals coming into, uh, like, um, Kuwait. So, like, when you're in Kuwait, you have to work if you're not a Kuwaiti citizen. And it is hard to become a Kuwaiti citizen. It's not like in America where if you're born here or you can get a citizenship. It's not like that. The only way you can get a Kuwaiti citizenship there is if your mom and your dad were both Kuwaiti citizens. Then you can have one. But, so it doesn't work like it does here. You know, a lot of people don't realize, like, just because you're born in a certain country doesn't mean that's, like, your new country, you know? Say, for example, you were Bulgarian and you were born in Athens, Greece. That would not make you Greek. That would make you Bulgarian still, right? Right. So, that's what I'm talking about. Like, Sola, Sola was, Sola's Syrian, but he was born in Kuwait. So, yeah, he's considered stateless. So his residence card is yellow over there. Um, so he has to keep a job. And that's why Foodie set up that fake perfume thing. You know, business was so he could fuck off all day with Murad, his friend, and look like he's working on paper for the Kuwaiti government. You see how that works? So Foodie came over, I think, on a tourist visa or something. Uh, so, um, I don't know, but right now in Kuwait, they're trying to clean up the residence thing because there's a lot of people that are there that aren't really supposed to be there. So they're giving them like this grace period to get out of Kuwait or, you know, but they can come back. They're like, you, you, you can come back, but this is giving you a grace period or an amnesty so that you can go get your paperwork in order and come back legally. So... We don't know what Foodie has. We don't think she has a residence card. She might be on a travel, we think she's on the travel visa, but you can only do that so long before the Kuwaiti government looks and goes, you've traveled here s like six different times. You're a resident now, where's your paperwork, where's your job? They're very strict about that over there. So they said they're gonna also be like going down to like where, now in Kuwait, they have single housing and then they have family housing. So it's, they keep the single like men, like Sala used to live in a, an area where it was single people. And usually those places aren't as nice as the family places. So we all think that foodies living in a family residential, but they're not supposed to be because her and Sala aren't legally married there. That's the other thing too. You have to be legally married to live together over there. And Sala and Chantal are not married legally. They did one of those like three day marriages. You can do that over there in, in the Middle East. They have in Kuwait this like where you can get married temporarily for three days. And it's so like I think couples can test it out without it being permanent or some shit. But anyway, so they have that. 
We think they did that, but like that expired, so yeah. And then everybody's like, we need Foodie to come home. I mean, like, she's been sick. Like, she's really sick. And it's like, like I've said, I want to see Foodie lose the weight and get healthy because I think she'll be even more ragey and mean and just out there and she'll be doing more. Like, I like seeing her go out and interact. And regardless of her weight, she's going to be the same fucking person. So we want her around longer, inshallah. So... Yeah, I don't know, but see, I don't know how to solve that kind of problem because she's got a she's got a really bad food problem, so I don't know how to solve that. And then there's something else going on with Foodie. I don't know what it is, but like everybody's always said, there's like some kind of defiance. She has some kind of defiance against everybody. Like if you tell her one thing, she does the opposite just to like prove a point to you. Is that not crazy? So like, I don't know. In my opinion, I think the reason why she's like kind of ignored the, the the whole diabetes and stuff is because the doctor told her she needed to start eating white and she was like uh-uh I'm not gonna do that fuck you and then she goes on to like Instagram or and finds like those like hokey scientific things to like oh look see if you eat so much of this it'll help your sugar levels and it's like you're way past that listen to your doctor please inshallah please listen to your doctor Come back to Canada. It's too hot in Kuwait. Like, I live where it gets Kuwaiti type hot. Like, I live here in the Coachella Valley. It gets 120. Like, no. This is her second time getting MERS. It's just like, no. No, no, no. So, yeah. What else? Hmm. Nick Ricada got arrested. The law, law tuber guy. Yeah, that's really fucking sad. That's sad. That's really sad. Hopefully he gets help. I think he probably will, though. I think he will be able to get some help and redeem himself, hopefully. Him and his wife. They got, like, five kids, so... Yeah. Let's see. Nothing. Nothing. Is anybody live? Well, Frenchie's live. I guess I'll watch that. Yeah, I guess I'll watch Frenchie. Oh, Taylor Swift is live right now. Well, let me turn the music down, but... This is one of those streams, the Taylor Swift streams. See, like, I... There were some nights, like, at 2 a.m., I'm watching the Eras tour with, like... There's 46,000 people in this chat. This guy used to get so... This guy has... His channel's blown up over the Eras tour. This guy will find somebody streaming on, like, a TikTok or something. And he then casts it to his YouTube channel. And so every concert she has done, he has streamed. So you can totally watch the entire Eras tour live on YouTube. You don't need to go to the Eras tour, guys. You can just watch it now. It's sold out. And so I think this is why Taylor's probably okay with shit like this. Because it's, this is also too, like, she's got way more fans than they could ever attend, like, a concert. So this, this just shows, like, how popular she is, you know? That people are re-streaming, or, or streaming her concerts and shit. I think this is funny. It's like, shit, you don't even need to go anywhere. Like, I'm watching Taylor right now, live. There's Taylor Swift on, on live, and there's all these people chatting. Wow. Wow. This is crazy. This is crazy. Yeah, so. That's going on, so yeah, I'll probably watch Frenchie. Yeah. The Drake, the Drake just un uno reversed the culture. What? What did he do? Who okay, cares about Drake? He's probably trying to uh, strike an A minor. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna watch this. And we'll catch up in a little bit. Hello. So I got. Whoa.
<laughs> trying to set you here on the chair so I can talk to you so we can have fun and gossip and shit. Okay. Because I heard Peter Mon, he goes, I don't hide the fact that I love to gossip. And I'm like, yes, me too, me too. <laughs> he gets kind of a, you know, that's kind of a thing. If you're a housewife, if, you know, you're, you're just one of those people, you know, like, it's kind of a, it's, it is what it is, okay? It is what it is. It is what it is, okay? So, we're going to gossip. Remember how Alicia told Remy that she just kind of wanted to go on vacation and not do all the touristy shit and stuff? Fine, normal, cute. They're at Harajuku. Okay, whatever. Which, I love this. This is why I wanted to show you guys. Remember how people react? Well, this is how people react on, uh, on uh, Instagram in Tokyo. These are the two people who were behind Alicia. <laughs> I love that shit. I love seeing other people's reactions behind the person taking the photo. Because they're like, that's clearly an Instagrammer. That's clearly an Instagrammer that came to Tokyo so they can just get aesthetic pictures. That's probably what they're thinking, which is not what... Alicia's got, like, family there, and they truly love the culture, so... I mean, I, she's not there for Instagrams, so we know that. But I mean, that's probably what they're thinking because that's what a lot of people do. They go to Japan for like the Instagrams and you know, because they think it's this like aesthetic culture and stuff when there's a lot of tradition in that country, a lot of tradition and a lot of history, which I think would be really cool to learn. I love the, um, crap, I'm trying to remember my Japanese mythology, but, um, yokai, yokai mythology. I love hearing about that. When I, what was it? It was about 2014 when we moved in this, moved in here from being house squatters. I remember listening to a bunch of shit on that, like on YouTube. So yeah, that's our first picture. Oh, what does this look like? No. Ah. Sorry, okay. That's like a posed picture. Yeah, this is a straight. Posed picture. Yeah, that's just another picture. That's a selfie. Everybody does that. That's cute. That's cute. Eh, that's just whatever, whatever. But there's a couple like posed pictures in there and I thought she said she didn't want to be doing all that when she went on vacation this time around. I get this feeling this whole trip, Remy's mom is going to uh, make the rules. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? No shade, but I just think that that Remy gets her controlling personality from a mama. Nothing wrong with that, you know, it's just some people are like that, you know, and you have to learn to let go a little bit and stuff, right? But I just get this feeling like there's going to be an itinerary, there's going to be places to go, we're going to have to look like a certain way so we can take pictures for the gram, because it's like a trip, you know, and we want to look good on the trip so we can take pictures for the gram so the fam and all our friends could see it back home type deal. You know what I mean? It, there's nothing wrong with that, but there's some people that when they go on vacation, that, that's what they do, you know? And they want to commemorate it, so they take a bunch of photos and shit like that, right? So, I just, I don't know. You know me when I go on vacation. I just want to just <laughs> veg out <laughs> and be lazy. Like, there's a difference between, for me, there's a difference between going on a trip like to Japan and a, like a, a vacation break thing. Do you get what I'm saying? Like me and Patrick go down to the beach and stuff like that's like a break vacation break where going somewhere like Europe or Japan and seeing sites and wanting to take in the culture and things like that which a lot of the times I feel like when you go to those things a lot of it's very touristy nowadays and from what I've seen, so it's, 
I don't know, so. It's just, there's a difference between going on a trip to like relax and going on a trip to like take in the culture and make memories and it's like a once in a lifetime, it's like a big trip, like going to Japan for us from America. Like us from America going to Japan is a big trip. It's a long time to get there. It's what, 17 hour trip or something like that. I don't know, it's a long trip. It was like a two day, you know, thing to get there once you factor in, you know, travel time and catching up on sleep and whatnot. It's a lot, so that's, that's a big deal. And then to, you know, you wanna see things there, that's why you traveled so far, so. There's a difference and you know, sometimes when people go on those types of trips, they wanna, they wanna look good in their pictures and they wanna make the memes and they wanna take lots of pictures, lots of photos and so they can remember it. And I get the feeling that's the way Remy's family is gonna be and that's maybe not what Alicia was quite expecting. I don't know, we'll see. She'll probably have fun. Like, she's going, she's going on a trip. She should, Alicia, try to have fun. Fuck it. And remember what, what Gemini AI said, you guys need to do a Lost in Tokyo video. That'll really hit the algorithm. That's what Gemini was saying. I know you guys are watching. I mean, like I said, I'm gonna figure out how to data scrape Reddit. And then there is a way where I can scrape the data with GitHub off of my channel and filter out and then see who's watching that way too. Isn't that crazy, all that shit? Yeah, but see like when I do it, if you're from Reddit, I'm not gonna, I just wanna see if, you know, Alicia and Remy are lurking on there and there's a way, cause it's just gonna be a bunch of numbers that pop up and I, you know, things. And then you just go in there and with like the AI, you filter out, you know, it like filters out all of the, um, junk you want so like I could search like LA and it'll go through the IPs and it'll narrow them down and then I can go from there with GitHub. So GitHub, yeah, GitHub. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I found like a forum postings over there. Like, that, like I'm telling you like with AI and open source and what Google has done, like, it's so easy to go in the back end of some of these um, social media sites and scrape out the data. And then if you use AI, you can just shuffle through the data, like where before you would have to put in codes and crap and I wouldn't know what codes or what I was looking for. But this way it just, it'll do it for me. Like it would have taken a lot of like, I guess coding or something like that to have brought all this information up before, but now with AI and shit like that, we can just shuffle through the information and it's like, it's like Google searching, but with this data I scraped off of Reddit. Do you know what I'm saying? I have to pull out my old computer for that, but I think it'll be fun, right? So it'll just, I'll just go in there. I'm just gonna go in there and see I want to see who's, you know, from the influencer area because there's just like a specific area where a lot of them live in LA. So I'm sure there's other people watching and stuff, but it's, it's easier to tell. Especially when a lot of people have been doxxed on the internet and stuff like that. Yeah. So wanted to share that. I like the two, the two people in the back like, huh? Huh? Oh, another pr another white girl from America taking aesthetic photos. Another American. Yeah, what time is it? Oh, it's six. Patrick should be off soon. Yay. Oh, there's Miami. There's my... Doesn't he look like a Ghibli? He looks like a Ghibli. That's Miami. And there's me. Whoop. Yeah, that's... I photoshopped that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I was working on my picture. We can talk until Patrick calls. Or my voice gives out, can you tell? It's really, really windy out. I really want to go to the park though later. I think it would be fun to go to the park and swing and stuff. It's probably not that windy where the park is, so I'm gonna see if Patrick will take me to the park. He can take us to the park 
and then that's that field I like to like twirl around in and stuff and everything. I remember that's what we did over at um when we'd go over to where Coachella is and we would me and Patrick would walk around the field and stuff. So much fun. And then the people have their horses out there too. Yeah, we're gonna have to try and go during polo season because it was really fun to be out there with all the, they have all the horses and stuff. It's really nice. Okay, so where's my photo? There's where I was, yeah. This is what I got so far. So there's my girl I ever set up. And this is, so I told you I was practicing with grids and shit. So where's my grid? <clears throat> Sorry about that. Not editing that out. We all cough from allergies and crap and whatnot. So, where's my grid? There we go. So I've been adding, I added the grid and I made like a grid. So, see I put the, the words on the line. So, where's my grid at? Uh, there we go. No, go away. No. No. No, there we go. There we go. Okay. So, this, I have them like lined up, so I put Fountain Fresh, no Fs given, so it's a little more friendlier. And you know, I love saying fuck and putting fuck everywhere, but you know, some people are gonna want like a diet fuck shirt, you know, like it, you know, so that's a little more friendlier. But if you look really closely on the cup, it says fuck, so. Anyways. So, that's what I got so far. Yeah, I think I'm I'm re I'm doing the logo for the Desert Mermart thing and I'm thinking of putting like I'm going to put like don't forget the ice, but I also want to put now in diet or now in no sugar added or some shit, I don't know. Mountain I probably should just leave it found fresh. It just makes it a little easier. Yeah, but Cause you know they have diet coke and stuff. Some people are triggered by diet words and I totally get that. Like, kind of feel weird about having a shirt that says diet. Maybe no sugar added. <laughs> you know, because that is a thing. Some people don't want sugar in their sodas. Like, you know what I mean? I like drinking uh, a sugar soda every now and again, but I prefer diet, you know? I don't know why. I don't like, I drink my calories when I drink like coffees and stuff but I really need to stop that yeah so that's what I got so far isn't she cute I love her pigtails she's got a nice booty I'm jealous I need to start working out <laughs> doing some squats yeah I like it I like it so far um, um I was wondering if maybe the oh shit <laughs> If the, open up, look at me, there we go. If maybe the fountain fresh was too small on the top, but because it's lined up nicely, I think it works. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it like that, even though it looks kind of small. And then I'm thinking of adding in like, you know in my logo how I have the little star? I'm thinking of adding those little, some little stars and stuff around to fill the negative spaces in and some spots, but, I still have to go here, so, yeah. She's coming along. I really like this one. I think this will be really nice as a poster, too, which I gotta order those. I have some shirts I wanna order for my, uh, some of my, my friends, my friends, so, yeah. <sighs> yeah. I try to, like, I don't know, I'm kind of, like, I need to get up on like my ordering like stuff because I got more stuff I got to order on Amazon but I'm just like I'm telling you I'm like it's hard for me to remember to get online to buy stuff or order stuff and I, that's a really bad habit and I need to cut it out so I'm thinking maybe next week of really trying to get on a better schedule because Patrick I'm jealous he's been able to get up and he's been well, he's healthier than me, but he's been getting up and walking in the mornings. And I like that if I'm sleeping out here or in there. I like that he gets up and his alarm goes off and it wakes me up. <clears throat> I enjoy getting up with him and my mom before they go to work. So, 
you know, mornings are very hard for me a lot of times for various reasons, like uh, the night terrors. Sometimes it's really hard. It can be disorienting to come out of those. And so it'll take me a while to shake it. It's like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like, you're awake and you vividly remember your dream, like vividly, like it's a memory. And you're almost like, did that really happen? Did that really happen? And then like, sometimes I'm like, or is that something that happened yesterday? And it, it's a little disorienting, I'm telling you, it sucks. It really fucking sucks, so. So yeah, sometimes I deal with that, the back pain. But I'm thinking that if I got going where I got up in the morning, I could stretch and shit and do something to get on top of that back pain or put a lidocaine patch on in the morning to loosen things up while I sit here and then I can get moving and doing stuff. I like, I want to be a morning person. I've always, always, always wanted to be a morning person, but mornings are difficult for my back and stuff, so. I mean, and also too, like, like, being a night owl and stuff, I like being a night owl, but a lot of times there's, like, nothing going on in the middle of the night, and it's, like, boring, you know? Like, especially where we live down here, there's usually nothing going on, so. My voice is starting to go a little bit, because I'm talking. <laughs> I love to talk. I do. And, you know, I'm here by myself, so this has really kind of helped um, with that. That's why I like, gets it out, right? Even if I sound a little crazy, yeah. <laughs> Hello. I took some like medis, like this herbal stuff on my throat and I feel like it's kind of helping. It has black licorice in it. So Patrick and me got pizza, not Jody Arias pizza. It's stuffed crust pizza, it's barbecue chicken pizza, so. So I got that. I got a Diet Coke. Here's your Diet Coke ASMR right there. We're sitting here. You can see me though because I got my, ooh. <laughs> me and my colored lights, so. Yeah, me and Patrick are gonna find something to watch. I don't know what, though. Hmm. I will help you look. Hmm. You will find the greenness. <laughs> I DM'd Peter Mon. I was looking through like the things I want to react to because I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. Rest my voice some more, but um, I found some clips of Manny that were very interesting. Wow, it was very very interesting. Very interesting, but you'll see that on my new channel, so. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. It was very interesting to me, so. We're gonna talk about that. Yeah, so. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna look for something for us to uh, watch. Oh, Foodie came back on. And I don't know if she's actually, I don't know if she's been sick or not, because she knows she sometimes will fake sick but she came on Patrick yeah um she put up a video while Frenchie was live to let us know that we are lucky that she loves us because if she didn't love us she wouldn't be on the internet anymore if she didn't love us so much oh, wow. she goes you guys are lucky I love you so much because I wouldn't <laughs> be here anymore if it wasn't for me loving and caring about you guys so much that's our queen, Patrick. Alrighty. Remember, guys, when... Bef this is how Foodie kind of believes, is that she's the center of the world, okay? The, the universe, okay? She's the queen. And you didn't exist before you knew Foodie Beauty. Did you know that? I knew that. We learned that, right? You were, you were dead. You were not alive until you knew who Foodie Beauty was, according to her, okay? You were dead, dead. 
but now you are alive. You're, you're, you're all born. You're new. She's your queen. She's the center, right? Just like we learned that her and Pete's believe that the United States and Canada are one country, mm -hmm. but Canada is the VIP part of the country because pizza is always ranting about how Republicans hate New York. I heard him say that he one time I did serious on a stream goes someone said something about Hillary Clinton I don't know what and he goes yeah that's why I didn't want her to be president that's why I didn't want her to be president he lives in Canada he lives in Canada you don't go here Trudeau I think is his prime minister or whatever the where do they call it up there I don't I should know this by now but it's where my queen hails from, apparently. She's our queen. It's like Alice in Wonderland, guys. You know that part when you get to Alice in Wonderland where the queen rages at Alice and says, after Alice goes, I'm trying to find my way home. And then the queen rages at her and goes, it's not your way. It's my way home. And so Alice had to rephrase it and go, I'm trying to find your way home, your majesty. That's a real thing. It happened in the Disney movie, I believe. The Disney one. The cartoon. I just... That's foodie beauty. That's how she believes. We are lucky to have her. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is the lady that let her um, elderly cats, little toenails, in bed. And left them like that and then didn't do her due diligence and her according to her her arch nemesis FFG stole her cat and got her vet care and actually she's doing great like I mean our cat is elderly we get him vet care it, he his quality of life is amazing we go to the vet and there's other people there and they're like wow your cat is like 15 16 years old mm, wow right? yeah because sometimes all they need is like some supplements or like the right food and it like you know just like people you know like sometimes people need to take medications like i gotta take medications for stuff and it improves our quality of life we live longer than if we didn't it's the same thing so that's yeah anyways foodie doesn't think that way so i'm gonna eat my pizza find something to watch with Patrick. <laughs> so yeah, maybe some anime. Maybe anime. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. I fell asleep in my shirt last night. <laughs> so I thought I'd update you guys. Look at me. I look lovely, right? I woke up like an hour ago. Oh, this battery's at half, so if it dies, I'll be back. But you know, I like to run the battery. I'm like, let's chant, let's let's just let's just ride this out. So but I got a breakfast burrito. Remember heat that breakfast burrito place? I mean, a couple of years ago that would have been a really good idea, especially since David had like a thing with Chipotle. I'm sure that's like been ruined. Oh wait, no, he just did something with Cinco de Mayo and Chipotle. Chipotle? Why are you having someone who promotes, like, assay in their videos supporting you? Like, a family restaurant chain, Chipotle. Because, I don't know, now I'm like, Chipotle supports David Dobrik. They're okay with David Dobrik assaying people for the views. Slamming his friend into an excavator for the views. Chipotle supports that? Oh, boy. Oh boy, like I said, we're gonna be going over. We're gonna be we're gonna be going over to David Dobrik because that's just an easy target for me. Why did it get dark like that? Cameras technology. So yeah. So anything on the YouTubes? No. Oh no. No. Nothing. Oh, that lawyer I told you about? Mercada Law, oh boy, that's not good. He had over 
25 grams of Schmeth of the snow guys. That's not just getting pulled over and having some in your pocket or on your person. That's a little different. He had little scales too. That's not good. I, 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 Nick might be going away for a while. Oh boy, so. I don't know if there's really anything on. Oh, Peter was updating us about his pool. I hope that opens for him this weekend. I like following his HOA drama. I guess it's not really drama, but it's funny though. Let's see. <sighs> Foodie beauty stuff, yeah. Remember, we're lucky, guys. She loves us, or she would have been gone a long time ago. She, we're so lucky. We're so lucky she loves us. So, yeah. I thought I'd update you. I'm going to eat my breakfast burrito and look for something for us to watch or put on our playlists. Yeah. Probably going to catch up on that Nick Ricada stuff. I was listening to Uncivil Law from earlier. I wanted to see what some of these lawyer buddies of Nick's had to say. Because it was just like, when I was listening to the um, arraignment yesterday with everybody else, and it got to the part where it was like over 25 grams, everybody was like, whoa! Okay, that changes everything. Whoa! Because before everybody was like, okay, maybe he just caught, caught with some. He has an issue. He's got an addiction problem. You know, you can come out on the other side from that. You can redeem yourself, but intent to sell... I don't know. In Minnesota? In Minnesota, guys. I don't play up there. That might not be good for him, so. We'll see what happens with Arcata. Like I said, a lot of people's time is coming. In a lot of ways. So, yeah. Hello. I still haven't switched my battery out, so we'll see how it goes, right? So, I'm here, I'm gonna put some makeup on and try to get ready to do my video. Been reading through, I did some, this is gonna be an educational reaction channel. So, I've been digging through Google Scholar to find some studies, marketing shit, and I found something, a study on engagement on YouTube. And it was actually very interesting and it, remember when you do your research, you want stuff that's like from the last couple of years. So very good article. I was reading through it. It's going to be one of our sources for our reaction videos. And I already got our first video picked out. I'm watching Remy's video, I think it's from yesterday or the day before, I don't know. Um, first, I got two things, two things. First of all, Remy's got a circuit maker. I'm going to show you guys something. Remy, I know you're watching. Remy, three big, oh, five big sips, right, Remy? Look what's on my bottle while I take five big sips. Was that five? I think so. My stickers. Remy, you got a, what is it, a circuit? thing or he kept calling it cricket I don't know is that like the cool term I don't know what the whatever start making yourself some stickers for your subscribers Remy that says hello camera focus sorry it wasn't focusing that say five big sips and then it goes at rem life what do you think about that five big sips YouTube.com slash RemLife. They can put it on their bottles, Remy. You need to sell stickers, Remy. And honestly, you could do print-on-demand stickers. You wouldn't have to do any of that crap. You wouldn't have as big as a profit margin. But to me, this sticker idea isn't really about profit as long as you're not losing money. It's more about connecting with your subscribers which equals advertising customers, which helps you get sponsors. Yeah, so stickers, Remy, stickers. Stickers that say buy five big sips. 
You can do this, Remy. Second thing, this is for you, Alicia. Of course, it doesn't recognize me because I have my cap on. This is with this lighting. Okay. Let's see. The top. Remy's wearing this blue top right here. It's leftover inventory from Parallel Apparel <laughs> that never sold. Here's Alicia over here going, oh shit, Desert Mermaid's gonna see this. This is going in that new thing. But, what happened there? Why, why do you have inventory that you never sold? I really wanna know what happened. I know this crop top was the biggest thing. This is gonna die soon, but this this crop top was the biggest seller for her, so what happened? I'm gonna go since this is actually gonna die and do my makeup. And now so try to do to the wig. Trying to get it to lay right. You know, I don't really know how to do these wig things. I'm drawing, so, yeah, 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 so, uninfluenced, I gotta put my necklace on still, but I'm editing today's, yesterday's vlog, us, so I can start the next one, and then we can do our reaction tonight, we're gonna do that tonight, that's why I got dressed up, I chose the green wig, mammy, get ready. You too. There's a lot of you guys that need to get ready. Yeah. So, I'm going to end this vlog so I can finish editing it and get it up on the YouTubes. For anybody who wants to watch, I know it's a long weekend. Some of us are just hanging out at home and whatnot, relaxing. But anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend so far. And I love you. And be safe. And I'll totally see you in the next one. Remember new reaction channel coming. I am posting stuff to my community tab here. So when I get that uploaded, I'll post that video to the community tab as well. And then I'll probably link it in one of my playlists that I do. So remember playlist is always in the description. I wanna see what I've been watching. So I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Uh.